welcome if you are new. My name is Sarah No H. Yeah, I was on a small hiatus for a little bit because me and the kids got a little sick and we're on the mend now. So I had to take a small hiatus from making videos, but I am here and I'm back. So I wanted to show you this really um, amazing cookbook that I stumbled upon in an antique shop. So let me uh, flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you. I'm not sure if you have seen this floating around on YouTube anywhere, but this is the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Um, this is was printed from 1941 to 1951. And I wanted to stumble upon it in, instead of ordering it on eBay, which they do have it on eBay, but I wanted to get it, um, you know, authentically just by stumbling upon it somewhere out there. And it found me. I totally was walking right by this like one section in a thrift store and lo and behold, it literally jumped out at me and I purchased it. So this book, um, it has a bunch of different chapters and it goes into a lot of the nutrition stuff. So I wanted to show you a couple of really interesting things that I saw in here. Um, I'm reading through it and you can see the fuel foods requirement and check out the recommendations um, between 1941 and 1951. They are recommending that your carbohydrates should be about 60% of your total energy and then fast at 25 to 30 and then your protein at 10 to 15%. Isn't that crazy low? Um, they also have a guide in here, which I thought was really interesting. So this is the average man at 154 pounds and the average woman. And then look at the recommended protein, 70 grams a day. That's it. Well, you know, recommendations now are just way higher than that. I mean, 60, I get 60 grams of protein between probably breakfast and then like half of my lunch would include 60 grams of protein. So here's another page. This is the calorie tally and it says no diets, no fasting, food makes fat. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Eat more than your body requires and it's stored as fat. Um, and here's some recommendations that they gave at that time for some dishes, you know, bacon. Here's a semi-fried bacon. Corned beef, canned beef, beef rib roast, you know, they go through all of their recommendations here. Beverages, cocoa, coffee, Coca-Cola. Hey, they were recommending Coca-Cola at that time, but yeah. And then it has this whole meal planning section. So this is, I just, I freaking love this thing. Um, here's some meals that it creates for you. So your everyday guide for planning. So if you wanna make this veal roast, it's suggesting that you make French onion soup and frosted fruit cocktail. And then for the starchy food, um, Franconia potatoes, browned paprika potatoes or baked potatoes. It gives you a veggie option. And then a bread, you're gonna do one of those. And then, hey, it's nice to serve some preserved kumquats. <laughs> <laughs> Pull those out of your fridge, right? Um, oh, and then you can make, you know, a simple fruit tower salad and then some candy stick ice cream. So I, I mean, this is just, I love everything about this book. Um, I will going to, I am going to go into some more details um, going forward. I'm going to actually pick some recipes out of here and actually make the recipes. I want to show you one of the coolest little ideas that I saw in here. So let's pause for one second and then I'll flip this to the page. This is really cool. So look at this master mix. With one master mix, you can make hot breads, cookies, and cake and save yourself 75% of mixing time. So these are all the ingredients for the master mix. And I'm wondering for those that bake or are well versed in the kitchen okay if you add two cups of shortening into this master mix and leave it out on your counter obviously sealed will it really last there's an asterisk there use easy to cream white shortening that does not require refrigeration I just feel like this sitting out on the counter is going to, I mean, sealed obviously, but it's going to like attract bugs. 
If you have any experience with this or maybe your grandparents, leave a comment below and let me know if you have ever, you know, made this or one of your grandparents made it. Um, and then down here, look at this. So once you make your master mix, if you want to make biscuits, you just need three cups of the mix and two thirds cup of milk. And there you go. You get biscuits. There's pancake, waffles, and muffin recipe for that. More biscuits and quick breads, cakes and cookies, um, drop cookies, molasses snaps. I think that's one of the coolest things in here is this master mix. But again, I don't know. I don't have any experience with this. Um, I'm thinking I might throw this together and see what, you know, what happens with it. But if you have any experience or your grandparents or you yourself have made this, um, let me know in the comments below. I like this too. It's got a whole equipment for a beginning kitchen. All the things you're gonna need. Nice to have an ice cream freezer. Picnic equipment, ring molds, scales, tube, cake pan. I don't know about uh, beginning kitchen having a tube cake pan. And then this is handy also. Recipes for the beginning cook and for children who want to cook. I love it. I love everything about this book. Removing spots and stains. So here, I guess they're picking common things. Blood, candle wax, chewing gum, chocolate or coffee, cod liver oil, fruit and berry, grass and flour, grease and tar, ice cream, milk and cream, indelible pencil, iron and rust. And these are all the ways they suggest that you can get those items out of your material, carpet, clothing, chewing gum. Yeah. Hmm. If it won't spot, if the spot won't fade, rub with ice. I don't think that works. I've had gum in my hair as a small child and that didn't work very well. And here's some more items. Ink, lipstick, mercurochrome. Mer mercurochrome? Uh, comment below, what's that? Mildew, mud, paint, perspiration, scorch, tea, and water spots. So that's pretty helpful. Here's a chapter on special meals and foreign cookery. So let's take a look at this. Bridge luncheons on a cold day bring baked crab meat and shrimp, tiny green beans, assorted relishes, cheese toasted rolls, plum pudding with fluffy hard sauce, and French almonds. Your lead as hostess is to serve something different. Split and butter a hard roll, sprinkle with Parmesan cheese, toast in slow oven, French fry blanched almonds and hot salad oil until light brown. Drain thoroughly in salt. Cut hard sauce with tiny fancy cutters. Hard sauce. Okay, so if it's a warm day and you're having a bridge luncheon, you're, you need to bring tomato jelly ring, tuna fish and celery salad center, thin nut bread sandwiches, watermelon pickles, angel cake topped with pineapple, marshmallow filling, and iced tea or iced coffee. Oh, here's for your noon get-togethers. Bring molded cheese and pineapple salad, salted wafers, ripe olives, celery stuffed with minced ham, ice cream cake sandwich. That sounds good. Regal chocolate, caramel sauce, iced tea or coffee. All right. Sunshine luncheon, tuna salad mold, cucumber dressing, assorted summer sandwiches, orange ice garnished with whole orange sections, sunshine cake, green mints, and tea. If you're gonna have a harvest plate luncheon, you need to bring rice stuffed tomato au gratin, broccoli, eggplant wedges, autumn fruit salad, clear fruit dressing, bacon muffins, peach preserves, cream stack pie, and coffee. Wow. And then here's some tips, I guess. Oh no, it's more luncheons. How many luncheons were people going on? I think maybe we need to have more luncheons. What happened to the luncheon? And how come we don't have bridge anymore? I mean, I haven't been invited to that. Oh, look at this. Look how many summer salad plates, wintry afternoon, evening bridge. Oh, men. This is uh, apparently what they believe men want at their luncheons. What do you guys think? Comment below. Evening refreshments for 50 or 150. 
refrigerator raid after skating or coasting hmm what's coasting after the symphony oh that's me every day i often go to the symphony three o'clock in the morning it's a date say good night in the kitchen say it with a good snack informal tea oh and formal tea oh and then the five o'clock festivities cocktail time um yeah, lots of potato chips, iced vegetable fingers, dill pickle slices. Wait a minute. Sliced dill pickles are for men too, apparently. Good to know. Housewarming. You guys getting some ideas for your next luncheon. Okay, here we are. Cocktail party, Sunday suppers, big game night. Wow, lots to do during a football game. Porch supper, hearty help yourself. Yeah, that's pretty much my life. Friday night, buffet, cold day buffet. Men's supper. Hmm, where's the lady supper? How about just people's supper? How about everyone's supper? Wow. Oh, and here's some picnics that you could do. Good neighbor garden supper. Come and cook at barbecue. Picnic box lunch. Hobo hike. Want to be a hobo? Then tie your lunch in a square of red checked gingham. Open, opened, it's a napkin and a lapkin. I love that. <laughs> in each bundle, chicken sandwiches, tight top wax paper cup of beans, a tomato, wedge of cheese, and a banana. Tie opposite corners and tuck in the picnic silver. I don't even, I don't even know where my picnic silver is, but tote your own hike. <laughs> eh, kids, tote your own stuff. Birthday dinner, birthday buffet. Wait a minute. For a children's party, they're just throwing the food on, on a table and making everyone get it themselves. Treasure hunt. Halloween in the open. I'm, I'm just loving this book. Oh, weddings. Okay, here's some ideas for your wedding. All the wedding stuff. Spring banquet. Oh, here's for Valentine's Day, George Washington dinner, St. Patrick's Day dinner, Easter dinner, May breakfast, May Day supper. Oh my goodness. So much preparation for every day. Wow. Holiday eggnog party. Hmm, once you serve the eggnog, you probably don't really need to uh, worry about anything else, right? New Year's Eve, bowl of cranberry cheer. <laughs> Aw, I love it. Foreign cookery. Okay, so we will continue our next chapter, the next video in the foreign cookery section of this book. <laughs>